First up, we have finished the culinary. making one of the five mother sauces, a bechamel sauce, so students will be making a white roux and then a derivative of that sauce, which would be a cheddar cheese sauce. And we'll be doing a tasting of it today. Next up, we have Gabe's Holiday of the Week. Epiphany. No, not the word for when you have a sudden revelation. Well, it does come from the same Biblical Greek word, but more on that later. Epiphany is the holiday typically celebrated on January 6th, celebrating, well, depending on your flavor of Christianity, the meaning of Epiphany changes. In Eastern Christianity, Epiphany celebrates the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River. In Western Christianity, Epiphany celebrates the visit of the Magi to baby Jesus, also called the Christ child. They have a bunch of names for Jesus as a child for some reason. Uh, you got Christ child, you got baby Jesus, you got divine infant, you got infant Jesus, you have divine child, you have child Jesus, holy child, and Santo Nino. Why do we need baby Jesus and infant Jesus? Anyways, Epiphany is also called Three Kings Day. Now, intro's over. You know what time it is. It's etymology time. The word Epiphany comes from this biblical Greek word which means manifestation or appearance. That word is actually derived from another Greek word, which means to appear. In America, Epiphany is actually pretty popular in some states, especially Louisiana. In Louisiana, Epiphany is the beginning of the carnival season, which is another holiday. Expect an episode on that one soon. An important part of the carnival season are king's cakes. You know, I'm noticing a lot of these holidays all kind of have some confectionery associated with them. You know, old school Halloween had soul cakes, Mid Autumn Festival had moon cakes, Hanukkah had Sufgan, you know. Anyways, King's cakes are typically filled with cinnamon and topped with a glaze and sugar. They also throw parades and stuff. Apparently, this holiday is also kind of a big deal in other countries, so let's go over that. In the Philippines, Epiphany is called Three Kings Day and it marks the close of the Christmas season. They feast and give each other gifts, you know, standard holiday stuff. In Poland, Epiphany is called this fun-looking word. The paragraph on Wikipedia is quite chunky, so it's kind of a big deal over there. They also hold parades and welcome these guys called wise men who ride on zoo animals and camels. These wise men pass out candy, they reenact nativity scenes, and children dress up in Renaissance clothes. A Polish-style Three Kings cake is served with a coin or almond baked inside, and whoever finds it is king or queen for the day and gets to wear a paper crown. Neat. And that's that for Epiphany. Hi Trojans, this is Mr. George, one of your counselors here at South Houston High School. I'm here to tell you registration's coming up. We will be sitting down together to pick classes for next year in the next few weeks. 11th graders will register in English classes starting January 17th. 10th graders will register in World History classes starting January 20th. And 9th graders will register in World Geography classes starting January 30th. We want you to be prepared. You'll see posters like this around the school. Simply scan the QR code and it'll take you to information about classes you can choose for next year. Start making a plan now so that you get the classes you want. If you have any questions, come by the Counseling Center or email your counselor. We'll see you at registration. Don't forget to stop by the Children Prime Meetings on Thursday after school at UCHS for a good time, talk, and free food. Any questions, please contact Mr. Olivares or Children Prime President Kiki Taylor. Thanks for watching Children's TV. Make sure you like and subscribe.